Hi, my name is Sander. I am a GIS developer from the IT and Development Center at the Estonian Ministry of Interior. Uh, the name is long and not very telling. Uh, we provide GIS solutions uh, for our public safety and security organizations like the police, rescue services, border guard and the like. For example, our services include uh, geocoding, routing, base maps and the uh, topic of my talk, map layers. Uh, as most special data users, our clients wanted to see something, visualize stuff. Uh, Technology-wise, we had two options at the time, GeoServer or MapServer, we chose MapServer. And as with everything, things grow, clients wanted to see more tough stuff and see different layers. Uh, at first, we had a pretty basic uh, uh, map file. Every layer was in this one map file, uh, quite static uh, in its concept. But as uh, more layers were needed, and uh, different layers got di integrated into different clients' development cycles, uh, a need for version control arised. Basically, we needed a better control over, over our production. Uh, we, we use a server continuous configuration automation tool called Chef Automate. And one part of the automation is building a different map server map files. Uh, in our case, we hold uh, every layer each in their own layer file. Chef takes all the needed uh, map server metadata part, then all the layers that are configured for that map file, and then all the symbols, puts it together and creates a map file. And it's continuously uh, updated in a certain time frame. We use one hour. Uh, and through Chef, all of that is versioned and trackable and it gives us all the control we need over our production. Uh, by keeping the layers in separate layer files, we can create the different map files, smaller map files, easily using Chef. It helps us keep it more client-based, uh, gives us the flexibility, and is overall just a little bit more cleaner to maintain and manage if there are smaller map files. Uh, also, some years ago, we did some light testing and we found that smaller map files performed uh, better than bigger map files with more layers. But let's say everything is all up and running, or is it? Okay, here monitoring comes in. Besides the regular, is the server running? We actually check the data as well. Every layer is checked uh, once in an hour if it returns a WMS image, and then a WFS check is done to see if any actual data and features are returned. And all of that is linked into our internal chat. So if something goes wrong, we are notified instantly. Uh, and as always, it never ends. We can easily add layers, remove them, change styling, and through version controlling, it's really easy to manage with low effort. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really show any code in public repositories, but if you come and ask us, we can actually show what we're doing. Thank you.